hey welcome to your math class good to see you again today we are going to learn about negative numbers so what are negative numbers anything less than zero is negative in mathematics a negative number is a real number that is less than zero here you can see that anything that is less than zero is a negative number so what is the concept the concept is that negative numbers represent opposites. If positive represents a movement to the right, the negative represents a movement to the left. Here, you can see in the number line that we have zero in the middle. And as we move towards the right side of zero, in an ascending order, we are counting positively. That is, you can see, we are having number one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see that we are not having any signs written with these numbers so they are absolutely positive and as you move towards the left side of the zero you can see that we are having a negative sign with each and every number so which shows that towards the left side we are having a mirror image of the right side and we are counting negatively so as these numbers are negative so they are having a negative or a minus sign with them which shows their negativity Let's move forward. Here you can see another example. We are having two thermometers. One is showing blue mercury and the other is showing red mercury. So what is the main purpose of showing these thermometers? This is that we are we should learn how to count numbers and see where the numbers are positive and where the numbers are negative. So just keep one thing in mind that number zero will always be neutral it is zero degrees here in the thermometer here in the blue thermometer you can see that the temperature you can measure in this way that as you're having zero here and you move below zero you get minus one and then you get minus two you get minus three basically you are counting in the opposite direction as you are moving towards negativity you are counting negatively so you can see the temperature is minus one minus two and here minus three and when you see on the other side here the thermometer having red mercury you need to count upwards above the zero line so you start counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen or 15 so you are having 14 or 15 degree centigrade temperature here so the main purpose is that anything below zero or on the left side of zero is negative and anything above zero or on the right side of zero shows positivity so i hope you have understood the concept of the negative numbers let's move on here we have a little task which you need to solve by yourself but I will help you as we need to start so the question is write down the temperature shown on the thermometer I hope after my little explanation you have understood how to calculate the numbers and how to find the temperature so let's begin with this thing as you can see here the bigger line is showing zero and these short lines are showing one two three four then again big line five so after every five lines you'll get a big line which is showing the multiples of five so here one two three you have three degrees centigrade temperature here now the next part of the question is the temperature falls by eight degrees centigrade work out the new temperature so what do you mean by falls by falls by means the temperature is reduced the temperature is going towards the negative side or the temperature is falling the temperature is reducing so how do you calculate this thing you need to do is you are having currently the temperature 3 degrees centigrade so you need to solve it like 3 minus 8 you need to fall the temperature you need to reduce the temperature by 8 degrees centigrade so 3 minus 8 will give you minus 5 degrees centigrade this is the new temperature here we have another question Sally wrote down the temperature at different times on 1st January 2003 so we are having two columns one is of time and the other one is of temperature so in the time column we are having midnight 4 a.m. 8 a.m. noon 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. 
and the temperatures are minus 6 degrees centigrade, minus 10 degrees centigrade, and so on. So what we need to find out is that write down the highest temperature. So which one will be the highest temperature? As you can see, the higher numbers will be on the most right side of the number line or on the most above of the number line. So here you can see the most greatest positive number is 7 degrees centigrade. 7 degrees centigrade will be the highest temperature. Now the lowest temperature. Lowest means the most less temperature you are having here. And the most lowest temperature will obviously be on the most left side or most below level of the number line. So as you can see we are having some negative numbers. So you need to see which most lowest number in the negatives on the negative side. So you need to see the greatest number but with the negative sign. So we are having the greatest number is 10 with a negative sign which means it is the lowest number. It is the, obviously minus 4 is greater than minus 10. Just you need to understand this thing that minus 4 is greater than minus 10 because minus 10 is negative. So the lowest temperature is minus 10 degrees centigrade. Now work out the difference in the temperature between, between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. So you can see that the temperature at 4 a.m. is minus 10 degrees centigrade and the temperature at 8 a.m. is sorry the temperature at 4 a.m. is minus 10 degrees centigrade and the temperature at 8 a.m. is minus 4 degrees centigrade. So what's the difference between minus 10 degrees centigrade and minus 4 degrees centigrade? We are having a gap of 6 degrees. I hope you got my point. Now, the difference between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. So we are having 6 degrees centigrade at 3 p.m. and we are having minus 2 degrees centigrade on 7 p.m. So the difference will be of 8 degrees centigrade. Now the next part of the question is that at 11 p.m. that day, the temperature had fallen by 5 degrees centigrade from its value at 7 p.m. Work out the temperature at 11 p.m. You can see that I have solved it the temperature at 7 p.m. is minus 2 degrees centigrade and as the temperature falls by 5 degrees centigrade which means that minus 2 minus 5 you need to subtract 5 from 2 minus 2 so we'll, you'll get minus 7 degrees centigrade let's move on here is a little task for you guys you need to solve it yourself now it's not so difficult you need to see the difference in temperature between Mars and Jupiter the difference in temperature between Venus and Mars which planet has a temperature 30 degrees centigrade higher than the temperature on Saturn and the temperature on Pluto is 20 degrees centigrade lower than the temperature on Uranus work out the temperature on Pluto I hope you will be able to solve it very easily not so difficult best of luck with this thing here we have a little table the table shows temperature at midnight and midday on one day in five cities which city had the lowest midnight temperature? So you can see the temperature in Edinburgh is minus 7 degrees centigrade. No other thing is lower than minus 7 degrees centigrade. We are having minus 6, which is greater than minus 7, which is higher than minus 7. And uh, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, all are greater than minus 7. So nothing is lower than that. So Edinburgh is having the lowest temperature at midnight. How many degrees higher was the midnight temperature in Cambridge than the midnight temperature in Leeds? So we need to see that Leeds is having minus 6 degrees centigrade at midnight and Cambridge is having minus 1 degree centigrade. So, so Cambridge is having 5 degrees centigrade higher temperature than Leeds at midnight. Next question, which city had the greatest rise in temperature from midnight to midday? As you can see in Leeds, we are having midnight temperature minus 6 degrees centigrade and midday temperature 3 degrees centigrade. So when you subtract minus 6 from 3, which means 3 minus negative 6, which will give you almost 9 degrees centigrade. So this is the highest greatest rise in. So we are done with today. Message of the day is never depend upon others, always have faith and trust on God and your abilities. And I'm telling you today that your abilities will make you a better and a great person one day.
Keep practicing because practice makes the man perfect. If you stop practicing, you'll lose greater opportunities. There is no friend as loyal as a book. So keep reading books and it will give you great wisdom. Thank you. Keep following my tutorials to get better at maths. I'm your tutor, Sharez. And best of luck with the rest of your maths. And I'm sure that you'll watch me again and you'll follow me and you'll try to be the boss of mathematics. Thank you and take care.